What's going on, everyone? Rui Hachimura once again continues to shine for the Lakers. I have talked about this on numerous occasions, even talked about this before the series began, uh, that he would be the X factor because of his size, his abilities to, to put the ball on the deck, play bully ball, knock down the three, knock down the mid-range. Uh, his stats were now eight games. So now we have an eight-game sample size in the playoffs. And all eight games... Rui Hachimura has scored double figures. He's shooting 60 plus percent from three, and he's shooting over 50% from the field. Six straight games or eight straight games now. That's a sample size. When you're talking playoffs, that's a large sample size, right? And so this isn't an anomaly. And he's done it three straight times in this Memphis series. And once again, 16 points, five rebounds, six of ten from the field, so 60% from the field. 2-2 from 3, 100% from 3, 2-2 two two from the free throw line. He's got a steal in, in his pocket too, did all this in 22 minutes. You can see the work that he's put in. Uh, you can see what Phil Handy has been able to do with Rui, and he is a real threat going forward. He's going to be massive, not only for this series, but even just going forward, because the problem is you have LeBron James and you have Anthony Davis. So teams have to match up size-wise against them. So when Rui's on the court, most teams don't have that other guy. They might have a guy with size like we saw with Memphis, right? Uh, they they put Aldama on, on Rui. And yes, he has the size, but he doesn't have the strength and physicality to match Rui. So Rui was just bullying him. Then they try to put like Roddy on him, who does have the size and a little bit of physicality, but he's not skilled enough defensively to, to prevent Rui from doing what he wanted to do. And Rui just abused it. And he's done it three straight games against the Memphis Grizzlies. And they don't have an answer. And if the Lakers handle business, which I expect them to, you go win game four at home, the series is pretty much over. If they do that, he's going to be a problem for... Every team the rest of the way. If they play the Warriors, what are you going to do? You put maybe Draymond on him? They might they might be the one team that can maybe match up the best because you can put Draymond on him. You could put uh, Wiggins on LeBron. And then you could put uh, you know uh, Looney on uh, Anthony Davis. Okay, but Anthony Davis would still have a mismatch. Andrew Wiggins isn't going to be able to stop LeBron James. So... At maybe you swap that, but then Rui, Rui has the strength and physicality to bully Andrew Wiggins, and Andrew Wiggins is a great defender, don't get me wrong, it, it, Rui would have to work, but he has the strength to bully Andrew Wiggins. Uh, if you play Sacramento, who is Sacramento putting on him? Can't you put Harrison Barnes on him? You're not, he's, Harrison Barnes isn't going to be able to guard him. They don't really have anybody that can that can slow him down and match his physicality as well as his size. So it just... Rui becomes this X factor in every series. If we play the Phoenix Suns, Phoenix is doomed. <laughs> Phoenix has nobody to guard Rui Hachimura. Rui Hachimura might put up 30 a game against the Phoenix Suns. And if we play Denver, again, Denver doesn't really have many guys that can match up to him. Aaron Gordon, but then who guards LeBron? Who guards AD? You get what I'm saying? Like It, it becomes this huge mismatch for these teams and Rui becomes this factor his ability to knock down the mid-range his skill set is just so well suited for the playoffs which is why before the series began I talked about why Rui would be so good and so effective because teams are going to sag off of him from the three-point line which they have and Rui is a 60 plus percent three-point shooter from in the playoffs uh, he's fixed his little hitch that he had in his shot. He's getting he's getting more lift on it. It's not as like a, much of a dart as it once was, and it's it's shown. It's showing the impact that he has. But also the mid range just opens up so much. Teams are so worried about packing the paint and closing out on the three. And you've seen Rui on several occasions kind of just give the little pump fake on the three, take a couple steps, and then he's right there at the rim. And there's not really anyone to challenge him because teams are leaving that open because they're trying to close out. They're worried about Anthony Davis. They'd rather Rui Hachimura take the shot than leaving Anthony Davis wide open, and then Rui can just throw it up, and AD's got an easy dunk. 
It just puts teams in such a compromised position. And that's going to be an issue the rest of the way for teams. And as we get deeper into the playoffs, Rui's only going to get more comfortable, more confident, right? And probably, as crazy as it sounds, maybe even more efficient. And he's already been hyper-efficient. Teams are going to start, like Sacramento or Golden State, they're going to start game planning for Rui. But the thing is, is, Again, there's so many other weapons that the Lakers have. You can't double Rui. So now you have to match him. But what they might do is they might start closing out harder on his three-point shooting rather than where Memphis has kind of just let him get open and has just kind of lived with him beating them. And he has. Where I could see teams going, okay, we can't let him beat us. Like, he can't get open looks. You got to at least contest it and challenge it. And we'll see if he's able to to make that adjustment. But I just, I don't think it'll be, that'll all that'll do is likely open up his favorite shot, which is the mid-range, right? Because once they close out hard, all you got to do is just give a little pump fake. And now you take two steps in and boom, now you got a little 15 foot jump shot. And that's Rui's bread and butter. And we saw him do that a couple times in the Memphis game last night. And we've seen him do it a couple times throughout this Memphis series. Not just that, but when he puts his head down and gets to the rim, they don't have an answer because he's strong enough to finish over the bigger guys. He's going to get fouled by the smaller guys. And it just, it, it puts teams in just such a tough spot. And it's nice that the Lakers have him. And he's only going to continue to improve. He's only going to continue to get better. His defense has been fantastic. He's doing a great job. I mean, he's guarding Triple J at times, who is a great offensive player, great defensive player. You know, he's a young rising star in and of himself. And, you know, he has to guard Tillman, who, you know, we've seen him be able to get going. And it's just a big body that he's got to bane with. And we've seen him match up against them he was great against Carl Anthony Towns who's a bigger stronger you know bigger more sizable guy than he is and was still able to hold his own he's he's not great defensively against the quicker players he's getting better and you can see it you can see him making those adjustments and kind of uh being quicker laterally so he's clearly working on it but he's still not great moving laterally but you can throw him on bigger, stronger. Like, I could see him. I, I wouldn't want this heavily, but I could see him holding his own against Sabonis. I could even see him kind of holding his own against the Joker. Again, not saying I want that play after play, but if he ends up getting switched on Jokic, I could see him being able to be strong enough to hold his own. And make it difficult. Probably not going to stop him, but make it difficult. Aiton, I think he could guard Aiton all day. Like, if we play the Suns, I I wouldn't... The way the Suns have looked, I think the Lakers win that in five. Seriously. I think the Lakers dominate that Phoenix Suns team. They have no defense, no... Ant- I mean, their offense looks stagnant and awkward at times. Devin Booker's having to put up, like, 40 points... I would, if we play the Phoenix Suns in the Western Conference Finals, again, we have to get there and the Suns have to get there. So not trying to get too far ahead. But if we end up playing the Phoenix Suns in the Western Conference Finals, I might be jumping for joy because we probably go to the NBA Finals. But we'll get there when we get there. Point is, is that Rui presents such a problem for all of these teams. All of these teams. The only teams that probably could match up is uh, Boston, right? Because Boston, they they have like, you know, Al Horford and stuff that they could put on him, which would make more sense to put Al Horford on him than, say, uh, him on like LeBron James, something like that. You got, you know, Brown and Tatum, Robert Williams, Al Horford. So like if we do have like the LeBron, AD, and Rui matchup, they could put like Horford on Rui, which Horford still sizable, strong, savvy vet, 
I could see him kind of being uh, not as bullied by Rui as we've seen. Um, you know, and then you have Robert Williams guarding Anthony Davis, and then you'd have Brown or Tatum guarding uh, LeBron James. So, again, I could see them matching up a little better. Um, same thing with, uh, like, Milwaukee. Probably put Portis on him. Again, you're not going to stop him, but just make things difficult. Uh, so, outside of that, I don't see anybody in the Western Conference being able to stop or slow us down. I really don't. I don't see anybody being able to stop or slow down Rui Hachimura. I think Rui is going to continue to be a huge X factor. I think he's going to continue to kill teams because none of these other teams have anybody that can guard him. You know, Aaron Gordon, yeah, he can be great, but who do you put on LeBron? Michael Porter Jr. ain't guarding LeBron. You know, um, Bruce Brown ain't guarding LeBron. You know, uh, Pope ain't going to be able to guard LeBron. Jeff Green, maybe. You know, maybe you put Jeff Green on LeBron and then Gordon or vice versa. And maybe that makes things difficult. But, you know, Jokic isn't this, like, elite all-world defender. I just, I think Rui is going to continue to impose his will. And I want him to. I hope Darvin Ham and LeBron James is in his ear going, keep keep it up. Push them. Get it. Go get yours. Don't worry about everyone. Go get yours. Because it looks like he's got the green light too. Because he's getting the ball and he's just going. Which usually is a sign that like the coach and... You know, your stars have said, if you can get it, go get it. And he's getting it. And I expect him to continue to get it. And again, I'm not expecting him to get 20 and 30 every single night. But if he can just average 15 a game during each series, that is perfect. He's done his job. You know, maybe he has a game here and there where he gets 20 plus or 30 or close to 30. And, you know, maybe he has a game here and there where he gets like, 10 because again he scored double figures in every playoff game he's played so far but so let's say a bad game he gives you like 10 good game he gives you 20 plus cool you know as long as it balances out to about 15 a game I think Rui's done his job but anyway as always this is a discussion so I pass a question on you let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below I just I can't talk about Rui enough seriously uh, I know I, I've made several. I, every game I'm making two or three videos about Rui Hachimura, but he just he deserves his flowers. The guy has been our arguably our second best player. The guy has stepped up. I mean, he has been. He is basically the Andrew Wiggins. It feels like of this Lakers team. Like last year against the Warriors, run right. Andrew Wiggins was the guy that really stepped up and was huge. Andrew Wiggins was the guy that came in and and it was like, man, clearly at times he was the second best player and arguably the second best player throughout the playoffs. Now, I'm not saying Ru like LeBron and AD are clearly 1A, 1B, but you can make an argument this series, Rui's been the second best player consistently, right? Like seriously, Rui has been fantastic. Uh, him and LeBron, I, seriously. Rui feels like our Andrew Wiggins this year. Like, if we go and we continue to advance and we get to the finals and say we win the NBA championship, I really think we're going to look back and go, man, Rui Hachimura was the reason we did this. Like, LeBron was great. AD was great. Fantastic. But Rui, we don't get to where we're at. We don't get that title if it wasn't for Rui. Just like... You know, you saw with uh, with the Warriors, it was like Draymond put on a defensive clinic. Clay was great in spots, right? Steph was Steph Curry, all that. But you don't get to the NBA Finals and win that NBA Finals without Andrew Wiggins. That's kind of how I feel about Rui. But anyway, love your thoughts and opinions. Let me know down in the comments below.